Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, and we are back with another video. And today we got uh, KB, Kwame Brown. Make sure y'all go follow him on uh, both his channel, Kwame Brown Bus Life and Kwame Brown 2.0. Today I want to react to him reacting to Zion Williams' stepfather being sued for nearly $2 million in taking out a loan. Now, I talked about this on my other channel. Uh, if y'all haven't seen that story, go check it out. But basically, well, I'll let KB talk about it, then I'll get my opinion later. Basketball, not for doing what you want to do. do. People grieved, took out uh, two million. Now, Iron Williams stuff did. But with the whole, oh man, come on, bro. She know where you're going at. But with the whole Zion Williams situation, I heard Zion Williams' father allegedly took out a two million dollar loan, or, or I don't remember the exact dollar amount, but I guess they're suing now Zion Williams for two million dollars. Damn, what is a rough deal for the Carolina boy? Sure is. This smells used situation. That, like it's sad, man. <laughs> y'all really think y'all want to be famous, huh? <laughs> Zion Williams got thirty million dollars a year. And I guarantee you, he probably told somebody no. Because all it takes is for you to tell somebody no. And, you, and they don't put you make $30 million in the paper. <laughs> Them niggas around you don't want to hear no no ever. Family sometimes become your biggest enemy. Your biggest critic. Your biggest everything. So how in the world, if Zion Williams wanted him to have $2 million, Zion Williams would have gave him $2 million. Why in the world would he have to take out a loan where this kid is on the hook for? Well, this young man is on the hook for? They're going to use this guy and spit him out. So let me get this straight. Zion Williams is right now, well, I don't know about right now, but he's been plagued with being overweight. He's been in the news all year, all, all summer year, all for year. this woman yeah. that's been attacking him. I don't want to give her no props, but he in, he in the news about this woman. There's trade rumors. There's work ethic rumors. And now he's in the headlines for his family getting him on the hook $2 million. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's a shame. They done use this boy like a project. They done got him to the NBA and they think the work's out. And then when you get to the NBA, the work just begun. <laughs> that, shit, that shit just began when you get there. Because now you are part of an elite group that every year is some young lions coming to take your job. One year you could be whoever and the next year you could be a nobody. And the NBA is that competitive. You can get one injury and can't cover from it and guys will forget about you. Look at how good Isaiah Thomas was. Isaiah Thomas not the legend take away from the other Isaiah Thomas, but the, the, uh, Isaiah Thomas that played for Sacramento and then played for Boston. He got that hip injury, never was the same. People forgot about him. And he was like that. So this is good. This is a competitive sport. Hit the day. Players now. Hell, you like that. But it's a shame when you can't even be in shape. You can't you get paid to stay in shape. There's people that go to gyms every day and they just in shape because they that's their lifestyle. Can you imagine? A guy getting paid all that money and he just can't be in shape. So get a diet. So get uh, LeBron gonna give you the workout. That, that's your job. Like all you gotta do is get up and work out. It's very simple. It's a routine that you do. Literally. And once I learned it, I'm like, <laughs> first of all, a lot of people, you know, being from the south, a lot of southern players just like to hoop. I wasn't really big into working out at first. I was just a hooper. I would go to the gym, find some guys that's playing, and we go hoop. And that's how I stayed in shape, just playing. And that's a good thing and a bad thing because when you're coming back from injury, you can't obviously you can't hoop. And it looks like that's what's going on with Zion. He, he balloons up in weight, then he plays, and he gets in a little better shape. But by the time he finished getting in tip-top shape, boom, there's another injury because of all of the pounding uh, that it took to get him in shape in the first place. You got to fall in love with working out. It got to be a lifestyle. So a $30 million shit, for what? That'd be a no-brainer. Get up, do yoga, get up, go running, get up, get up, go swimming. You should, do, you should put in eight hours just like everybody else do. Everybody else gets, uh, people get 20, 30, 40 dollars an hour, the specialty degrees, they get more than that. You getting 30 million dollars a year. <laughs> Go put in eight hours on your body, and I guarantee you'll like the results. Mm -hmm. And that's why some of the fans get so upset. They're like, how in the fuck you can't get it right with 30 million dollars? You supposed to be able to buy a new body. <laughs> that's why a lot of people go think you're supposed to be able to buy a new damn body. But it's a shame, man. I think he being used. They don't got no team around him. But even without a team around him, like he's 20 something years old now, you with the Duke. You would think this young man. Otherwise, you just let these guys come out of college, uh, high school. <laughs> if, if this is what college coming out of college gets you, man, you might well let these kids come out of high school. I, I don't see the difference. Let these guys come out of high school. If, if this is going to be the maturity level of one, two years of school, I don't see a difference. And they still have that immature brain. Some more advanced than others based on the city that they're from. But clearly, 
Did I cop this? Not that. What's it say? What the hell is it? Facts, but why is Zion on the hook for two million? Man, they gonna listen. Zion can potentially beat this uh, situation, but that's what happens if Zion is from a small town. I can guarantee you, anybody in Zion's town know who his mother, know who his father is. And if they come and say, hey, I'm going to put down on this and give me a loan, they're going to give them whatever they want. They can read the goddamn paper. They just read that Zion uh, Williams, Williamson signed an extension. So if they see their father, them, they're going to think, shit, that's good money. They're going to bend the, they might do something different for them than they would do for somebody else. They're going to skip the collateral and all that because they're going to assume, hell, Zion Williams is collateral. I know your boy. See them dogging up the street. So yeah, small towns, they do stuff a little bit different. But that to me is, is, is disgusting for his family to do him like that. What the hell they need $2 million for? Y'all ain't have $2 million your whole life. What, what was so big about y'all getting $2 million? And now this boy got to pay for it. And that's because everybody around these athletes sometimes think that they need to live the same lifestyle. And that's why I always say, respect me like you respect the white boys. The white boys compete. They don't give their whole family money. They don't have that mentality that I made it and then now I got to buy everybody in my family a house, a car, and everything else. You're going to go broke. You're going to go broke. I know they're going to like you and ride with you for the moment. And, uh, you know, I used to listen to them white dudes. If you listen to them talking in the locker room, I'd be like, damn, what well, a motherfucker got it easy. They made a little money. They get stock tips. They get all kind of shit. We make a little money. We got to have 40 motherfuckers calling the phone. And based on our answer, it's going to be whether we real or fake or this or that. We're going to be the goddamn worst thing out of money just by saying no. Imagine how dangerous it is for a rapper who say no to his entourage. The people that's right around him swear like they love him. They'll die for him. Imagine if that rapper say, no, nah, man, look, I want to start investing in this. I, I, I got to see. I got to save my money for this and that. <laughs> I wanted them niggas to do anything. I wanted them niggas to understand it. Like, yeah, all right. Once you been doing that, we, you know, it's all good. Matter of fact, I'll help you do it. I got something to add to the pot. I wonder if any of them gonna say that. You got fans who wanna hate on my service today, man. Damn, what's going on, Black? Why y'all hating on my service today? Damn, they got that up quick. What are they doing? Warehouse after warehouse after warehouse. Oh, have mercy. Man, they keep messing up my service, man. I don't know what's going on, Jack. Oh, I forgot I'm on my main channel. I should have did a pre record. <laughs> What's up, boy? Keep speaking the truth. Yeah, man, I'm trying to tell you, sometimes the people that know you the most, they can't see you in your new position. They only want to see you where they used to see you at, where they felt like you was beneath them. Once you level up and boss up and surpass them, now they got to examine what they were doing that was different than what you was doing to get you where you was at. There's a lot of motherfuckers with me looking at me like, how the hell this motherfucker right here get the way he went? Yeah. <laughs> got to have it in you. Got to be in you, not on you. You know? They got to be in you, not on you. And I learned how to, and Zion, let this be a lesson to you, man. A lot of these niggas stay and waddle in the mud when they find out they got friends that don't really fuck with them, they just around for money. They got a lady that's just around for money. Hell, it could be your parents that's just, they done turned you into this money grab now. You got to be man enough to say, hey, I'm not going to be used like that. It don't matter who it is. Whether it's mama, uh, she, uh, granddaddy, I will not be turned into this that you want me to turn into for you to just use me. I won't be that. If you won't allow me to be your son, your grandson, your brother, or whatever else without charging me for that, you got to let them go. Then you gotta be okay with your decision. Shit, I, and get used to being by yourself. <laughs> they say it's lonely at the top. Y'all motherfuckers didn't know how it meant. Yeah, but hey, that's, that's a real statement. It is lonely at the top because a motherfucker don't understand your grind and your walk. If they don't understand your grind and your walk, you're gonna have a long day. So this day down gradually. You got that radar out. Oh, you quit looking. Yeah, they, they, a lot of people sit around you and think, I'm going to be a millionaire. They, they listen to that dumbass phrase, I'm going to be a millionaire because I'm around a millionaire. No, the hell you not. You're going to be the nigga that's reload. <laughs> hey, look, I don't know who told these motherfuckers this bullshit. You know, all I got to do is hang with a millionaire. And it's the, it increases my percentage of being a millionaire. And if I hang with billionaires, it's going to increase my percentage of being a millionaire. If that's the case, everybody that hang with these motherfuckers, you know how I many motherfuckers that a billionaire hang with? You just gonna be the nigga that turn your head when a check come, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's the only reason why you wanna hang with a goddamn millionaire. So you can turn your head when the bill come. When the goddamn uh, music going and the bottle popping, nigga, you all nigga that my homeboy dabbing them up and shit. Nigga, that bill come, nigga, you had your ass go to the bathroom. Shut your bitch ass up. That's why you gonna hang with a millionaire. That ain't gonna increase your chances of shit. You supposed to watch people's success, watch their movements, watch their discipline. That will help you become a millionaire if that's what you claim you wanna be. But just being around somebody with money ain't gonna help you do shit. You probably gonna take away from the guy with money. Sign the Timberland Lakers need you? No, hell no. I'm happy. I'm not getting on all that Henderson and all that shit again. <laughs> no way. I beat my body up enough. For me, it's some box jumps. Friends that you called your friends prior to you getting money. They got to understand that uh, this ain't a game no more. We still friends, but I'm not responsible for your life just because I made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. No, let's get this. Let's nip this in the bud right now. Let's sit them all down. I am not responsible for your life because I made it. Now, because we are friends and I got a blessing, I will help you help yourself. 
Now, if you don't help yourself, don't blame that shit on me. A real friend, they'll help you. They don't have to, but they'll help you. But after that, you gotta help yourself. We got too many niggas that's bag of bums, calling a nigga they homeboy just cause they want some money from them. I don't think a lot of these athletes got homeboy. Cause when them bills pile up and everything got them get to float around, how come they can't, they homeboy can't never do for them what they do for their homeboy? That's how I look at it now, nigga, I ain't no hope. Nigga, if you can't do for me what I do for you, then nah, I'm gonna be around me for the wrong reason. Or if you can't help a nigga out do something, you gotta be useful in a room. Hey, I don't need no hard-laid nigga around me talking about, well, you my homeboy. I got no. Yeah, I'm talking about, well, you my homeboy. I'm gonna hold you down. Uh, I hold myself down. Oh, shit, I'm speeding like a motherfucker. Police right there. Well, look like I'm about to get pulled over, so let me get off line. I'll hit you guys back, because I'm hauling ass. <laughs> All right, man, so there we go. KB giving his opinion about Zion Williams. Uh, family being sued for, for, for $2 million. Yeah, as I said in my video, man, Zion is not having the best year at all, man. He's going through a lot of BS. Um, a lot of it he put on himself by not going to the gym, not working out, being lazy, not being dedicated, being stupid. Uh, and some of the stuff, you know, he can just learn from. But hopefully, you know, he can learn from this and just be a better person. Like I said, man, this is the perfect time for him to show his true character. This is, this should be motivation for him to get back in the gym and to have a monstrous year. So hopefully he can use this as motivation and not just fold like a chair. We'll see. It's your boy DMD signing out, y'all. Peace.